Hey guys, HBK here, and um, showing you guys how to JTAG an Xbox 360. So you need <laughs> shut up a JTAGable Xbox. Um, where are they? Two switching silicon diodes. Switching silicon. These are just silicon, but you need switching. Some cut up Ethernet cable, or yeah, or use the NAND X. That's what I'm using to dump the NAND. Or you guys could do LPT using okay. this. And uh, I'll turn it on for you in a second. You need a uh, T9, uh, Torx T8 or T10 or whatever to open the Xbox 360 with. Um, you're going to need a soldering gun. I already have one, but this is just one I just could pull out right now. And you can use a knife. So let's get to the part where we have to open the Xbox. Okay, to open up the Xbox 360, no. um, first you have to know your uh, what kind of Xbox you have. I have a Zephyr. Um, you can tell by in here or by the whatever the uh, power brick. So first, how to open this part? Slide your thumb in. Whoops, side thumb. Rip it out. If there's stickers, you could just blow dry them and peel them off, then you can put them back on when you're done. So it looks like you didn't even JTAG. And then for this part, you're going to need uh, your T9 or something, because you're going to have to pull this out. And if it's stuck like that, you are going to want to pop it out like that. And on the other side, just so got that one out now it's the same thing pop it out so okay now you got this you wanna get your knife And you see these three uh, things, this one, this one, and this one, this one at the end. You have to take your knife or whatever you have, open it up, unlatch it, and pull it back, and unlatch the other one, and pull that back. So let me just do this. Once you got it unlatched, it's going to be like this. So you want to go to the back. You can either uh, poke holes or whatever. But this is what I do. So let me just... The console thing is already coming out. Take that off too. Just don't break it or rip it off like I just did. Hold on. Alright, for this part, you want to then take your... Uh, thing, hold it like this, and rip it off. It didn't break, everything's fine. Perfectly on there. So, now let's get to the part where we're going to have to unscrew this. So, let me just take the camera. There's going to be uh, screws all around here. There's going to be one here, here, here. Pretty much all the screws on here take off. Take the ones in the middle off. Once you got them all off, once you got them all off, flip over the Xbox, pull the top off. There, you got your motherboard. Hello. Now, you want to take your DVD drive out. So you're going to pull it up, and you're going to see the cables in here. Just going to gently take them out like that. So nothing too special. Just put that over there. You want to take this out. You, if it doesn't come out, uh, get your knife. Unlatch it. There's like a little latch in there. Like that. So now, you got this. And you want to take your fan out back here. So 
Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. And lift this up and take your fan out. Now you got this. There's gonna be screws in here. There's gonna be one here. Let me just zoom in. There's gonna be one here. Then another one here. And then take this off. There's gonna be another one down here. So once you got all those off, simply take this off. You know, take your motherboard out of the casing. And now you got motherboard ready to JTAG. Alright, so this is the way I will be soldering the first wire. You want to take your smallest bit of wire uh, to bridge the connection, and you're going to have to bridge it from. Get a nice focus. From this one to this one. This third one. So first, I want to go solder this one. I'm gonna show you an easy way to solder. Get your motherboard up right. But the point you want to solder it to is right here, and on the back of the motherboard. You see it's right here. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put the end of your wire onto the point you want to solder it to, and then from behind melt the solder and then just push it through. So this is how you accomplish this right now. Kinda gets complicating if the solder Make sure your solder gun's really heated. So I got that point done. Show you. You could add a bit more solder to make sure it's making proper contact with the eyelid. So it, it's in there good. Then you want to solder the other end of the wire to this third one. So let me just move the wire over. You got it to there. You want to make it to this one now. So start at that end to this one right here. So you're going to want to the exact same thing. What? Take the wire, put it where you want to solder it to, get the soldering. I need to heat the solder. And, and so right now you just bridged the connection made it good so you can see it's going from the first one to the third one that's the same with all motherboards I'm pretty sure it is alright so go to, uh, we're gonna go do the other portion of the GTAC point